Lindsay with me, and it's even greater to be here in our pajamas. I don't think Pierce and I have ever done a presentation in our pajamas, so it's lots of new experiences for us. And we just want to share with you this morning a little bit about ourselves, a little bit about where we come from, and hopefully a little bit about what we're learning through this opportunity. So Pierce will just kick me on. Okay, so hopefully by now you know my name. Uh, my name is Beth Davis, and I come from a little place in Belfast called Dundonald, and that lies on the suburbs of Belfast and um, towards the east direction. And I study at Stranellis University College, and I'm in my third out of four years there. And I'm training to be a post-primary religious studies and computer science teacher. And that just means that I am back home. We call post-primary ages 11 to 18, so kind of middle and upper over here. And my subjects would be religion and technology out here. So that's a little bit about where I study. Stranglis tends to be a predominantly Protestant university in Belfast, and I'm sure you're aware um, of our troubled past. And hopefully today we can focus a little bit on the future of Northern Ireland. The opportunity that Pierce and I have to come here um, is something that years ago would never have happened and never have been allowed. Um, not only are we loving every minute that we spend here, we've also become really good friends with each other and I think that's a sign of how far Northern Ireland has moved on. And so my name is Pierce Schnalker. Um, I live in Anderson West Belfast, where it's quite close to where Mr. H is from, so in the general direction. Um, I go to St. Mary's University College, which is the Catholic teacher training college um, of Northern Ireland. So that's from the Protestant side, I'm from the Catholic side, and you go still at university, the respective colleges. Um, I'm here through primary training, which is kind of your lower school, the start in middle school, so that's where I'm training to be, to be um, but I specialize in history. And as Bev said, you know, we're going to share a little bit about, it. I'm sure by now you all know about the background of the conflict, but we want to show you why we love um, Aaron so much and the positive things about um, our country. So we'll have a little video with Bev just to show you. What really is it that makes us so Irish? Kind of start you. <laughs> the Irish you like to crack. <laughs> I find Irish people quite often are quite well danced. Yeah, I mean, definitely a native of dancing. Typically, I probably won't say no for it. So, you know, you, you, you take one cup of tea, you have to drink ten in the house, or you know, no such thing as taking one biscuit, you have to have them all. There's good camaraderie with Irish people. Everyone gets on very well. Oh, you can definitely laugh at ourselves. Well, I only really have positive things to say about Irish people. Personally, ask where you're from, they say Ireland, we're just happy to see it. Sure, we have the gift of the gap, and if you don't, you can go and kiss the Blarney Stone anyway. Can't drive far in Ireland without seeing some sort of medieval castle or some very old ruin or ring fort or something. There's always something to look at, and there's always a sense of history around the place.
I love him because I can go to the places where he went and see the beauty that he saw around him. Religion in Ireland is really changing at the moment. I think you need to believe in something. I don't think it has to be a formal religion. I don't think you have to go to Mass, but I do think you have to be a good person. For me, the pride lies in our history, this ancient folklore that exists. I don't feel disconnected from the past. I can see my heritage, I can see my ancestry, I can see everything around me, the lakes, the mountains, the rocks, the trees. They don't call it the Garden of Ireland for any old reason. The lane to the top, what I can talk say. There are beautiful sights scattered all around Ireland. Right? Some date back thousands of years. It's amazing, it's incredibly historic and it's kind of a window into our past. It's a farming event, but it's not just farming anymore because everything is in and out. It's a great event in the world. <laughs> you meet your neighbours, you might bump into them at home, but you bump into them here. These things are giving the farmers more opportunity to make changes and make them more efficient. The Irish love a cup of tea. Well, as they call the cattle, tea is all about the sit down and just reconnecting with your friends, you know. It's the hub of technology in Europe. It's a really great time to be starting your career. I think the only way to be good at what you do is to be proud of what you do. If you look at the Irish flag, it's actually a flag of peace. Great for Catholics, supports the Protestants, and white for peace. You can feel the history in the streets of Belfast. Common tax, common tax. This is every other day. British soldiers on the streets. They were here for 35 years. And many of those people believe in some sort of occupation. Listen here, it's a, it's a label. Not as if we're all back, going to church every week, and we're not. It's like tribalism in many ways. Like I say, my generation is like fine from like the 90s onwards, but that doesn't mean like people who are very happy. We always say it was from Paris, but there is. It's a different environment, but there's always something different to do and to see up there. It's really good fun when I go to Belfast. The landscape in general is just so beautiful. Driving right around the coast in general is beautiful. I love the power of the sea and the whiteness and the purity. Just even the wind blowing in your face, the freshness of it all. No Irish people, Irish people in Ireland. We're all the same. They're all, they're all Irish. Okay, so hopefully that video has shown you a little bit more about where we come from. It was a video made to kind of promote um, Northern Ireland and Ireland. So hopefully it shows you a little bit of why we love and um, what we call home. And just to share with you now, I just want to tell you a little bit about what we're learning through this opportunity. Pierce and I have been given this privilege to fly over to New York. And so it was quite a traumatic plane journey for me, not so much for Pierce, but we were so thankful um, to come here and be a part of Dope Stewart. And while we're here, as trainee teachers, we are learning so much. We have the privilege of getting to see a different education system. Back home, the schools in Northern Ireland run very differently. And so for us to have a chance to learn um, how your school operates and the different subjects that you study, it's a great opportunity for us. We're enjoying going to lots of different subjects. We have um, bioethics and social ethics and things like that. We don't have those back at home. So it's been really great for us to get around and see subjects that we have never had the chance to before. And we hope that we can bring this back home. And we also enjoy uh, the different teaching strategies. You have lots of talented teachers here at Doe Stewart and for us, as we train to be teachers, there's nothing better than getting to see teachers at work and learn from them and the different strategies that they use. And we've learned so many and we're excited to bring those home and use them in our classrooms back in Belfast. And then lastly, we've really enjoyed the cultural side and we've done lots of traveling. And at the weekend, we went to New York City and we had an absolute blast. We put some photos up um, of our time at the weekend. And so we really enjoyed uh, getting to travel around your country. And um, we've been to Albany, downtown, Saratoga, and New York City. And we're loving every bit of that as well. And so I'm just going to talk a little bit about the differences 
So you call it, we call it, you call it the lower, middle, upper. We simply put it in, in primary and post-primary. So it's just been so confusing for us to try and work out ages because it works slightly different back then. Um, recess, we just call it lunch, one, <laughs> one word. Um, passing time, we don't have, um, so count yourself very lucky, especially if you're up to school. If you wants the bell goes, you need to get to your next class. Um, more of meetings are very much led by you guys, and you have a real sense of ownership within the school. You know, if you want to speak, you put your hand up. Different clubs and organisations being run by pupils. It's very pupil centred, and back home it's different. It's very much teacher led, so it's been lovely to see that. Um, and starting time, this is the one thing that might make you slightly jealous. You start at year 15. We're probably just about getting out of bed then. Um, school doesn't start at 9 15. So there are just some of the differences. Um, just to finish off, I'm going to show you another little clip. Um, we really admire one of our very um, treasured people, uh, Liam Neeson. Uh, we just, me and Beth just want to say happy St. Patrick's Day and thanks very much for having us in your school. Uh, just the end of this little clip. Every year, on St. Patrick's Day, the world goes green. But here in Ireland, every day is bathed in green. After all, this Emerald Isle is like nowhere else on Earth. Where rugged coasts and grassy hills collide, and time can stand still or fly by. It is a place where music flows as easily as conversations and welcomes are warm and delivered with a smile. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Pierce is with me for another week, um, but we have enjoyed every minute, every single person has made us feel such a part of Dome Stewart. And we want to thank you for that, we've had an absolutely incredible time, and it's been a once in a lifetime opportunity. So thank you, and happy St. Patrick's Day.